Hi, and welcome to today's Tuesday Tip. Today's tip is going to be on reasonable accommodations and anxiety. That's what we'll call this one, reasonable accommodations and anxiety. I have information from one of our viewers. It says, our 100 unit section 8202 property has inconvenient parking for both our residents and their visitors. Mine seems to be an ongoing situation without an amicable resolution. Hopefully we'll find a resolution. Many of our residents are disabled in one way or another and or up in age and unable to walk very far, especially in the heat of the summer. There is a large percentage of residents and surprisingly who still drive despite being in the above described condition. Well, I also have residents who are requesting more and more comfortable level toilets to replace the original lower level toilets. My time is spent and more occupied with these two concerns of processing reasonable accommodations than with executing my regular duties as an occupancy manager. Once one resident hears of someone requesting an item under a reasonable accommodation, it spreads like the wildfire. Do you have any suggestions? Well, I have a couple. First of all, you don't want to turn down any reasonable accommodations. Let's handle them one at a time. Let's talk about the parking first. You can't assign parking according to age. Once you do your verification with your reasonable accommodation and the professional physician or whomever has told you that the person does need a parking space closer to their unit, you must do it on a first come, first serve basis. Unfortunately, you will probably have Miss Johnson that tells you, well, I'm 92 and she's only 87. Why does she get to park closer and I don't? Explain to your residents it's on a first come, first serve basis. Now the second part of your question, the toilets. I must admit, the older you get, the harder it is to go down and pull back up. So let me just say this, again, you don't want to turn down any reasonable accommodations. If you're in a 202 property, then that means that you're serving an elderly population. It might be something that your company looks at to replace all of the toilets with the higher toilets. Make sure you do have the grab bars in the bathroom so as they go down, they can lower themselves down, and as they stand up, they can pull themselves up. This avoids any injuries for your residents. Hopefully that was some suggestions that you can use, and we look forward to more Tuesday tips from you, our viewers.